Thank you for inviting me to, to talk here. I'm going to talk to you about time series machine learning. Now, time series are everywhere, right? So from sensors on wind turbines to the trajectories of migratory birds to toothpaste sales in Cincinnati, right? Much of this massive quantity of data that we're collecting is time dependent and it's, it's ordered. Now, historically, this type of data in machine learning has been treated either based on received wisdom ad hoc transformation or been treated as tabular data. For the last sort of 10, 15 years, I've been working in the field time series machine learning, and what we've been trying to do is adopt a time series specific approach to the machine learning tasks uh, involved with analyzing time series. Now, it's quite a small research field, um, but it's very active. There's a lot going on. And so what I'm going to do is slightly self-indulgently, but I'm going to give you a sort of history, a, a path through the current state of the art in, in time series machine learning research. So uh, I'll start off with uh, what is time series machine learning. Right? I'm going to talk about uh, the repository we use uh, uh, and um, the tasks we're trying to address when we perform time series machine learning. The task I'm focused on, and most of my research is focused on, is machine learning classification, time series uh, clustering, and time series regression. Right? So the majority of my talk, I'm going to be talking about developing algorithms for time series classification problems with a little side word to clustering uh, and describing some of the regression work that's ongoing and currently um, under review. So basics, I've got to have some definitions. What is a time series? This is more me trying to just constrain the type of problem we're looking at. Um, time series is an ordered list of observations. Uh, we're looking at real value time series. Okay, so not symbolic, it's a whole different area. There's a whole different uh, set of techniques dealing with symbolic time series. We're interested in real value time series. We're interested in um, both univariate, right, so a single variable measured over some ordering, normally time, uh, such as annual UK GDP growth, or multivariate, and here we just have uh, an EEG trace where we have multiple variables measured over time. So just to characterize the type of data we're looking at, our time series, we're looking at a collection of time series. So we've got several observational units, which we'll call cases. These time series can be univariate, single variable, or multivariate. They can be equal length, and they can be unequal length. They can contain missing values, and they can uh, <coughs> contain no missing values. So that's the kind of data characteristics of the problems we're looking at. Now, in order to assess algorithms of time